Brooke Becomes Me, written and read by Karen Tooney. Interior Thai Restaurant Day. Brooke and Emily focus on menus at a small table. Brooke looks up to see a woman with a small dog in her purse. They let people bring their dogs in here? That's not right. Where? There's New York City gutter waste wafting through the air. Oh, it's adorable. Brooke turns back around and studies her menu. Want to split something? I never want to split and you always ask. Well, just because I've known you my entire life doesn't mean I can put you in a box and assume you're predictable and will always do certain things and never change. Kind of like assuming I planned an elaborate surprise party for your birthday? Emily's cell phone rings. Can we still make that happen? Emily pulls out her phone and looks at it. Mom's meeting us. Since when? Since an hour ago. Brooke looks at her cell phone. Why didn't she call me? She wanted to surprise you. Well, you just ruined it. Emily rolls her eyes as she answers her phone. To Carol on cell phone. Mom, Bleaker and... What's this place called? Uh... Oh, tie me up. Tie me... Oh, okay. Emily hangs up. Brooke and Emily stare at each other in silence, dreading their mother's entrance. Is it too early for a drink? Hell no. The waiter walks up to the table. Hi, girls. Can I get you started with... Is there a cocktail menu? She's coming. Act surprised. Carol Connors, late 50s, a middle-aged suburban woman trying to look rich and put together, appears at the table. Surprise, Brookie! Carol throws her arms open and hits the waiter. Mom, wow! Carol to the waiter. Can we get another chair here? The waiter leaves. What a surprise! Happy birthday, darling! Great dress, Mom. Spinning. Carol spins around. Whenever I come into the city, I have to stop at Neiman Marcus. There's a Neiman Marcus in Westchester. Well, it's a much different selection. Brooke and Emily both smile at Carol and nod. The waiter comes back with a chair and a cocktail menu. Carol to the waiter. It's my daughter's 30th birthday tomorrow. Do you do something special for birthdays? Mom, please. Sure. Brooke to the waiter. I'm going to try the Manhattan Moonslide. Ooh, me too. Carol to the waiter. I've raised two very festive girls. <laughs> the waiter smiles and Carol watches him walk away. Who wants a date with that adorable waiter? <laughs> Brooke, I'm not single, Mom. I was talking to Emily. Oh, yeah, he's cute. Uh, definitely. Ask him out, Em. Do it. Randomly ask out the cute waiter. Maybe I will. No, wait. You have a boyfriend now. You told me last week. See, I listened to you. Emily freezes like a deer in headlights. You do? Who is he? I never said I had a boyfriend. You did, last week, when I got you a date with Diane's son. You told me you already had a boyfriend. Emily to Brooke. I just said that to get her to. The waiter rushes back to the table. He smiles at Emily, who looks down embarrassed. Ready to order, ladies? Not yet, thanks. The waiter leaves. Carol puts on her reading glasses to study the menu. Loudly to herself, Mmm, I love spicy shrimp. Brooke to Emily. Who is this guy? It's nothing. Why are you hiding him? It's weird. It's weird that you're stalking your boyfriend. Why isn't Jack proposed yet? He will tomorrow. No, he won't. Suddenly, several waiters swarm the table singing happy birthday. Carol has joined in as the loudest singer in the bunch. The waiter places the two fancy purple cocktails down on the table. The one in front of Brooke has a lit candle floating in it. Brooke and Emily have to yell over the singing. Yes, he will! Emily gets up. I have to get back to work. You can't leave. They're not done singing to me yet. This may come as a shock, Brooke, but there are things in my life that don't revolve around you. There are? Emily grabs her purse and storms out of the restaurant. Brooke runs after her. Oh, come on! That was a joke! <laughs> okay. <laughs>